And we're live. Welcome back to Vape Don't Smoke, guys. It's Paul here, and I'm joined by Dean, the vaping devil. Oh, the devil. <laughs> 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 there we go. Good start. Good start. Oh, I've got to mute myself. Um, yeah, I did that on purpose, obviously. Try to be funny. Obviously. I, I, I'm a funny Scotsman. Mm. Uh, but yes, guys, we are joined by Dean, the devil vapor. Uh, hello, Dean. Hello there. Uh, and Dean's graciously volunteered to come on the interrogation. So a massive, massive thanks to you for doing that. Um, are you nervous? Never. I'm never nervous. Never, no. ever. No. You don't have to be nervous. Unless I'm farting, um, I'm all right. <laughs> never fart when you're nervous. <laughs> well, you don't have to be nervous. It'll be all good. But I did actually enjoy the, the artwork you designed. You do have some skills, man. Mad skills. Uh, for those of you who never saw it, do check out either one of our Instagrams because we did post out a very funky picture, which was yeah. pretty cool. Uh, right, guys, little rules on interrogation. Please, we will refer to chat as often as we can, but please don't get offended if I don't. Um, we will go to chat at the end after I've answered, asked my questions and the questions will come over to you guys. And all you need to do is pop them in big, bold, capital letters so that I don't miss it. Anyone being naughty will get a swift kick in the bollocks. Um, and Aiden from Little Bro should be floating about um, doing his thing with the button. Uh, so yeah, don't forget to hit the like button, guys. If anybody does donate on this channel, on this video, we will be donating all con all uh, donations to the Cat and Dog Home and Cardonald. Hey. Right. Are you ready? No. <laughs> Right, we're going to go back, right back to the very beginning. Why the fuck did you start smoking? Why the fuck did I start smoking? Um, it, it wasn't peer pressure. It was just, um, you know, you, your friends were doing it. You'd, you'd think you'd try it. And, yeah, that's how it started. How old were you? Um, I think I had my puff uh, on the first cigarette, probably 14. 14, yeah, I was mm. So 14 years old, what was your brand? Um, Marlboro Lights or um, what were they? They're in a black packet, Sovereign. Oh, they're nasty. They yeah, were. I used to go for Sovereign, yeah. Are well, they not the pure, you get 25 for like two pounds or something? Um, oh, blimey, I can't remember. They, I, It was 10 or 20 when I was that age. Yeah, oh, yeah. they were rotten. I remember them. They were, they were, they were hardcore ones. Those mm -hmm. um, ten sovereign and a bottle of Thunderbird in the back of the shop. That was my youth. We. Really? <laughs> uh, so you're a smoker at fourteen. What was your favourite cigarette of the day? Oh blimey! The it would either be the one in the morning as you walk into work, or um, possibly the one after dinner. So not the first one. The one as you get close to your work. Um, well, I, my first fag used to be when I was on my way to work. All ah, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or the one after your dinner. Yeah, I think yeah. after your dinner was my favourite. Mm. Especially if you ate a lot. It was yeah. like a roast dinner. And you had that sugar. <laughs> so, uh, what were you doing? Were you Did you decide, I'm going to quit smoking, grab a patch? How old were you when you decided, I'm going to quit? Bloody hell. Um, I think I've been vaping now for five years. So 26, I decided. It was around about 25, 26, I decided I'd stop vaping. Uh, I got a new girlfriend. Um, and, you know, I just didn't like it or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? I didn't like smoking around her. and Because I used to smoke wherever. Like, I used to smoke in my bedroom, in my car. And it weren't nice. And um, I'm assuming she's a non-smoker then. Yeah, yeah. She, My, my missus is a non-smoker, non-vapor. Um so I thought, yeah, let, let's just do it, you know, stop smoking. I think it must have been around about a year possibly after I met her. Um, might have been a little bit less um, yeah. that I stopped smoking, yeah. So did you try a nicotine patch? Did you try this chewing gum, the eardrop thing? I don't know if that works. Nothing at all. Um, I went straight on to vaping. Straight on to vaping, mm. okay. So how did, you, how did you know about vaping? I don't know. My mum tried to quit smoking. Um, and she had these two, they're like cigar likes, you know, that had the screw, the filter that screwed on to the, the white bit of the fag. And, you know, I thought nothing of it. And then one day I just thought, you know, I'm going to try this vaping lark out um, and see how it goes. So, yeah, that's how that started. So, what did you get? Did you get a cigar light or did you get. No. It was. 
Um, it was an ego and C4 combination thing from Libero, um, which were a local company to me. Um, I went up there and yeah, it was a little, little battery about that big and your C4 on top. Um, yeah, it was a nice little kit. It, you know, it worked. How much did you pay for it? Fuck me. I think <laughs> I got, I actually opted for the bigger battery. I think I got two C4s and a nice little glasses case and a charger and, like 30 mil of e-liquid and stuff like that. And I think that was near on 70 quid. <laughs> it was crazy. It was mental, wasn't it? Yeah. See, I, I say it all the time. Um, people are spoiled now. They're absolutely spoiled. Yeah. Uh, when my, I mean, the first kit, that I, the half-decent kit that I got, you're, you're spending that fortune on it. Yeah. And, you know, you don't know what, if it's going to be good or not. So um, 70 pounds for us. Mm. E4 kitty, wow. Mm. Um, so did you start 12 milligram? Was it eight milligram, six milligram? Um, blimey, this was before the TPD come in. I think it was 18 milligram I started on. Um, and then I, I think within a week I was down to 12 milligram. You know, it was a little bit too much. Yeah, a little bit of that neck kick. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Did you try the old Hang Seng RY4? No, I was on Libero's own brand stuff um, oh, really? for, for bloody months. I was on that for months and months and months and months until I got my first, you know, sub-ohm tank and sub-ohm setup. So what was your favorite flavor? Was that tobacco you started on? No, I started right on their flavor called Eskimo, which was like a, a pure menthol. Ah. Mm. A uh, big hello to Vaping with Vic. He's in chat. He, he, he and I both started on the old RY4 from a Hang Seng. Uh, mm. I remember he did a video on it. I don't think he was too keen on it. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, so I've just lost track of my questions. I'm rubbish oh, at this. Um. <laughs> so you said there you, you got your first sub ohm tank. So you went from your starter kit to a sub ohm tank. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I, I kind of went from CE4s and there was the. Oh, I think it was the Kangatech EVOD and stuff like that, that it, which was kind of like a metallic CE4 jobby. Um, but my first sub tank was the Kangatech sub tank nano. The Kanga EVOD. Do you remember? Did they not have like the EVOD 2, the EVOD glass? I think I'd had loads of them. Was yeah. That what they were called? This one was, I'm sure it was called the EVOD. I'll have a look now. Kanga EVOD. You can carry on if you want. Yeah, uh, you, you upgraded to the Kangar sub tank. Yeah, the yeah the sub tank nano. Oh, the nano, right? So yeah. you're down, was it the eighteen millimeter one then? I think it was eighteen mil that size, wasn't it? From recollection, that was the best one, wasn't it? I, I think the other ones had leaking issues and and all sorts of nonsense, but yeah. I think that one actually gave you some pretty good vape. It, it was a really good flavour. I was on that for blooming months, and then I went up to the sub tank mini, which was a little bit bigger. Um, I think that was like 22 mil or something like yeah. that. Um, yeah. But they they were both cracking tanks back in the day. The sub tank mini was my favourite tank for many many years. Mm. I think they re-released it as the top tank with top fill. And yeah, that, yeah. My day that absolutely mm. made my day. I had it for a long long time. Yeah. Uh, right. So you're uh, you're a wacky vapor. You were vaping for how long before you decided to hit the crazy YouTube scene? Uh. Blimey. Um, I think I started. I think it must have been about six, eight months, something like that. I think I started vaping in the April and then I started reviewing around about the November time. Possibly. So what, what made you what what made you do it? Um, I think it was the way how many people start out. I went to the first vape jam at the Olympia, I think it was. Okay. And I went there and I got loads of stuff, you know, I was going around trying stuff and I saw how vendors liked my opinions on things and how I describe what the flavors were like and stuff like that. And they, they'd give me, you know, free, free stuff or samples or heavily discounted stuff. And a lot of my friends were smokers and they were all like, Oh, what's this vaping lark like? Because I was kind of, kind of like the only gay in the village, you know, I was the only person in our friend group that was, that was uh, vaping. Um, and they kept asking me my opinions on stuff. And I thought, well, I've been on a few vaping forums and that on Facebook and groups. And, you know, I saw that people review these things. You know, they put them online onto YouTube 
and it, it didn't start as anything serious. It was just me on Instagram because that's where I started. Wave to everyone on there. Um, yeah, I, I started on Instagram by you know posting a picture of what I was reviewing and then a few words about it, what the flavors were like, the prices, etc. And that was it. And people were like, oh, you've got to get into YouTube. You've got to get into YouTube. And then you know a few months later, I, I got into YouTube. Yeah, well, good. Mm. So. Mm. You, you, you decided to obviously do vaping reviews. I mean, did you ever think about doing anything else on YouTube before you went, fuck it, I'm doing vaping? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I actually knew much about YouTube before I actually got into reviewing. Um, you know, it used to be a place where I'd watch like Parry Grip or, you know, cartoons and stuff like that, you know, funny videos. Um, other than that, that was kind of like the only bit of um youtube that i knew of but there, there there's so many like little niches and stuff like that of, you know people review anything people you know probably review fucking tampons and shit like that i don't bloody yeah. know but, everything on yeah YouTube. everything is on here mm. um so the devil vapor uh, i asked this to everybody um when i was thinking my youtube name i had quite a few different ones vaping with paul yeah uh, paul's vaping bollocks and all that crap i settled on vape don't smoke devil vapor's pretty cool did you come up with that instantly or was it was that your instagram name or i had two choices um basically it stems from back in the day because you know i listened to my metal music and everything like that my um my tag kind of thing was dean w underscore 666 okay um so that's where it stemmed from um and people used to call me like the devil and stuff like that and one one day i turned around to my missus and i thought well let's try and bring devil into things and i thought well i said oh what about the vaping devil which you said earlier <laughs> um yeah it was it was the vaping devil or the devil vapor and i said to her which one sounds better and it was it was the devil vapor and then yeah from that that i think my first picture as the devil vapor was me in, you know, the Saw pig mask. I think it's still on my Instagram. Uh, it's, it's actually still on your YouTube channel because I watched it earlier. Oh, yeah, with the um, the, the coming soon thing, yeah. with the Slipknot music in the background. Yeah. that, that Yeah, they, they uh, took the monetization off of that. That was where it stemmed from. Um, well, like I do with everybody, I want to just show a little clip of your first review. Um, no! Fuck! <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> no! Now, if I if I mute you, see when I muted Aiden, I couldn't unmute unmute him. Oh, so I'm gonna have to watch this. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, you know how to unmute yourself because I don't know how to. Do it. What, <laughs> so mute, what? Mute my audio on here. Yeah, mute yourself so that you, the the people can see the video. No, how dare you? Seriously, I didn't expect this. <laughs> uh, so if I just share my screen, we can then go up here. <laughs> <laughs> um and i'll just play it from here yeah i'll just well i'll make it full size so that everybody can see and i'll just play it from here good evening fellow vapors um <laughs> for flavors is arctic banana berry um it is described as a banana am i muted so let's give it a whiff let's give it a whiff Fuck, no and plenty of fresh banana there. Oh, this is embarrassing as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> right, so... Um, <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if everybody can see that coming through or not, but not okay or not. But, um, I mean, see, to be honest, though, I mean, you're, you're saying you're embarrassed. When I, when I, you should see my first video. Yeah. When I watched that, I thought it looked pretty damn good um, for a first video. I mean, I've never seen anyone do a coming soon to YouTube intro, which was pretty cool. And then mm. camera quality. And you've even got a Devil Vapor hat. Yeah. I, as soon as that was born, uh, like the name Devil Vapor was born, um, I think it's Vape Labels. Do you remember? Do you know Vape Labels? They do all the bottle printing for everyone. Right. I went to him and said, design me a logo. I want, you know, X, Y, Z, you know, a skull with like devil horns and maybe a bit of fire and stuff like that. And he come around within 24 hours and went, this is your logo. And I was like, fuck me. Yeah. You know, that, that was quick. Um, so I, I think I paid him 15, 20 quid or whatever it was for the logo. Um, 
and yeah that's been my logo ever since no no tweaks or changes or anything like that and I, I went to the hat printing thing I was like I want a hat with my logo on it um even though the logo is like really small um that hat cost me like 60 quid Jesus yeah <laughs> really? you hadn't even done a video yet no god good you but good job you stuck at it yeah yeah I've still got the hat upstairs I've just never worn it it's kind of like a little shriny kind of thing now for 60 quid though you better still have it Jesus mm. um yeah. but I thought your first video was pretty good I mean the quality looked good I mean I used what, what camera did you use I was on my Samsung Galaxy S6 I think it was or S6 Edge something like that and it was propped on top of like a box on top of another box on top of a cheap eBay tripod. I don't know if I've got it down here. I haven't. I've still got that tripod, but a cheap like 99p little extendable leg tripod with a phone clamp on top. <laughs> mm. um, and I know you did a whole bunch of, like with most of us did, you start off and doing a lot of juice reviews. I had a little giggle when I was looking at them because the majority of them are under three minutes and I just I always think back to uh, Mark. Mark Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> well, my single juice reviews are still around about that long. You know, they're, they're still around three, three and a half minutes when I do them. Was that was that the goal or did that just happen? It's just how it happened, yeah. I think if you, if you tried to be under three minutes, you would probably not have been able to do it. Nah. Um, like Mark, failed miserably. Mm. Um, but yeah, so so were you nervous? When? Uh, when I started? Yeah, definitely. I was so bloody nervous. Um, so you, you used your, your mobile phone. I mean, I used my phone for quite a long time. Um, what kind of gear you got now? Um, I'm still on the, what's it called? The Logitech, 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 whatever it's called, C920. I've still got my Snowball Blue, which is here on the old um, road boom arm. I've got the shock amount for this or whatever you want to call it. Um, I've got ring light. Um, my, my edits and all that were all done on my phone now, but now I've got uh, an iMac 27-inch jobby oh. going on here um other than that some fancy tripods gimbals and stuff like that but yeah my main setup is c920 imac and blue mic excellent excellent gimbals how many gimbals did you see at expo far too many <laughs> I, I used mine for around about half hour and it weren't doing what i wanted to do so it went back in the bag yeah i was so uh, disappointed and that that was like well uh, no, I do want to use it when I go out and do vlogs, but um, I, I'd never practiced with it before I went to Expo, which I should have done, really. Um, but that, yeah, I think that was about 180 quid's worth of gimbal. Jesus. Um, so, yeah, yeah, no, I will get more practice with that and use it on me out and about vlogs. You know what, then? I do them when I can. Um, obviously, because I've moved within the past month, um, I haven't had a chance to actually scout where I am now looking for interesting areas because I went used to go down to that graffiti tunnel okay. near where I used to live. Um, but now I've got to find somewhere new and interesting for people to see. Um, kind of uh, like a secluded location so I'm not bothering anyone or, you know, people think I'm being a weirdo filming things and shit like that, you know. Yeah, at Expo, I'm standing outside Birmingham Airport filming myself talking and it, you do feel like an absolute dick. Yeah. Um, people must be looking at you thinking, who does he think he is? Mm. You know, you just kind of go, fuck you. Um, I'll never see you again in my life. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, with, with that, when you're vlogging and stuff, you've kind of not got to worry about people. But then, say if you, I used to vlog, it, well, I'd done a vlog, excuse me, whilst I was in a pub. And um, whilst I was vlogging, this, this woman's girl come up to me and my camera was still on and, and she came up to me and started talking to me. She was Russian. So she was talking Russian to me and I couldn't respond to her. And she started grabbing my camera and stuff like that. I was like, no, 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 it's fine. It's absolutely fine. I'm just sitting here enjoying a pint, but you've got to kind of, you know, you've got to not make people think that you're a weirdo filming them or anything. Yeah. Not that I was, I was, I was filming myself, you know, I had my camera in my hand facing me. Um, but you, you've got to kind of be respectful to the people around you, even though it's not illegal, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, no, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. When I was on the plane and I was filming, I was very conscious of people behind me. And they're like, hello. Yeah, it's like, give us a wave. And they're like, oh, it's Paul from Vape Don't Smoke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I wish. Yeah. Um, 
So obviously there's a lot of reviewers out there. Um, uh, indoor smokers, I think Daniel does it. There's a whole bunch of guys that they sit there and behind them is thousands and thousands of tanks. Behind you, you've got trainers. Explain the trainers. <laughs> the trainers are um, a gift I bought myself. Um, they are Transformers trainers. So they're Puma, whatever they're called. There and one of them, hold on. This side is the Optimus Prime ones, and that side are the Bumblebee versions. And do you wear them? No, they have never been worn. They would never be worn. Um, I'm, they're, they're lucky they're out of the box. To be honest with you, um, no, where's the other one? <laughs> where's the other one's in the box to keep <laughs> the box stable? But um, I think that they're originally, I think, ninety-five quid each, and I think I got them for seventy-five quid each, something like that. So you spent £150 on two pairs of trainers that you'll never, ever wear. Yeah. Wow. That okay. look terrible as well. <laughs> shall, I, shall I get one? Yeah, grab one. What one? Optimus Prime or Bumblebee? Oh, I like Bumblebee. Grab Bumblebee. Hey. Guys, while he's doing that, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you are enjoying the show. Hit all those buttons. Yeah, uh, hit any button you want. So they are they're the Puma RS, I think they're called. I'm leaning back as if that's going to come and hit me in the face. There we go. So oh. on the back, they've got the old um, Autobot logo on there. Um, and then you've got the Autobot and puma -ness on the tongue. Um, yeah, so that's the Bumblebee-themed ones. And they've got, like, in the Transformers font there, RS running system or something like that. But they're, they're really lightweight trainers. I think, you know... Someone who does want to wear them can wear them. Oh, and I got the G1 Bumblebee down there as well. Uh, yeah, it, it was kind of like a dodgy purchase, but you know, I enjoy them, they're nice to look at, nice to look at, and nice to be on the shelves. <laughs> I know you've got a whole kind of Transformers thing going on back there. Is that, is that your favorite kind of thing? Yeah. I am Transformers mad. Um, I've got Transformers tattoos. Um, I've got toys from when before I was born and from when people bought me stuff when I was a kid. I've still got all my original Transformers, um, Pop Funkos, limited edition stuff. Um, those prints there, the, the little square canvasy things, my missus painted for me. Oh, wow. Um, the ones either side of me um, are from Mr. Mystery on Instagram, shameless plug. Um, but yeah, they, they cost me, I think they were 20, 25 quid each. I think they were something like that. Um, but I love my transformers. Absolutely love them. And I've, oh yeah. What people don't normally see is the two big black frames there. Yeah. Um, they're signed prints from when I went to a transformers convention and stuff like that. Same by who? Uh, the artist of the actual pictures. I don't know who they are, but <laughs> It's got a little gold squiggle in the bottom corner. I thought you were going to say Mark Wahlberg or something like that. You know, no. Matt Latouf guy. Labeouf, no. Whatever his name is. Ma oh, yeah, Matt Labouf. But what, one of the things I have got, which I don't think anyone has because I believe they're destroyed after they're used, is when the first Transformers film come out, um, they had a feature or whatever it is, an extended trailer that they showed in the cinemas before you go and watch the film. Right. I've actually got that on cinema film in a little disc thing wow how did you get that um my mate used to work at the cinema so we used to go and you know they, they do midnight screenings um which is basically you get to go and friends and family going for free the day before the film's out just to check that the film's running it's like a test run for a film that's cool um so we used to go in for free all you had to do was a uh fire emergency thing so like the, the film would start but then they deliberately put the smoke alarms off on that yeah, so yeah. you'd have to run downstairs and go outside and for that you come back in you get popcorn and a drink and, and watch a film for free excellent it's not bad it's not a bad meat to have mm. yeah and then for my birthday he come up to me and said oh you can have this and i was like what the hell is that and he goes you know that's the extended trailer for the film like, that's fucking amazing isn't it that is cool yeah Pretty amazing have you ever had it valued? No, not at all. It is in a box somewhere in the loft. <laughs> so you're looking after it then? Yeah, definitely looking after it. <laughs> uh, so what are you vaping on just now? I am. I'm still on my daily basher. 
<laughs> the Rinko Manto S. Um, I'm testing out the EH Pro Raptor tank. Um, and I've got the lovely, um, what's it called? The Black Ice by Zeus Juice in there. Very good. That stuff is my crack. Absolutely crack on legs. Excellent. So if you could only have one particular type of coil, what's your favourite? Dual coil, single coil, or do you like mesh, stock coils, or what do you like? I am a stock tank wanker 24-7. Um, I used to love the Cleto XO and the like the original yeah. Cleto and the and the Cleto Pro. Um I wasn't overly fond of the mesh cores in there, but uh the Horizon Tech Falcon mesh cores are absolutely amazing. Uh the Freemax Mesh Pro as well. I, I am kind of like a mesh mesh coil person at the moment, yeah in stock coil um if i was in rda it would probably be a like a, a pair of dual claptons or something like that nothing too extravagant but something that's good for flavor absolutely big fan mm. of ground four myself the, the mesh coils on that are really good yeah uh so if you were trapped on a desert island what box mode would you want with you that one <laughs> seriously it is <coughs> excuse me it's cheap but it works and it works well. Um, the only issue I have had with this, I've been using this for months since before Christmas. And the only issue I've had is the 510 got a little bit loose. Um, so I just took it apart, tightened up the nut underneath and I'm blooming good going. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so you're still stuck on the island. What tank would you have? Oh, the Horizon Tech Falcon. And what juice would you have? Oh, blimey. I, I think the black ice. Black ice. So basically, you're set up pretty much now, except for a different tank. Yeah, the, the other tank's down there. Um, it's just because I'm not testing it at the moment. You know, I've reviewed it and that. Um, yeah, I'm vaping on this. So I, I'm a pretty simple vapor. You know, I, I, I obviously, I work in a garage and stuff like that, but it's something that I can chuck around. I haven't got to worry about scratching it or anything like that. It's not shiny. It can get dirty. It can get a little bit greasy. I don't have to take my gloves off to wear it. Um, so, yeah, it's it suits me down to a T. And so you're still stuck in the desert island. Uh, who would you want to have with you? It can be someone dead, alive, famous, non-famous, anybody at all in the whole world, in the whole history of the world. Um, oh, blimey. Blimey. Um, oh, shit. I, I don't want to get too sentimental. Um, I think if I was to go on a desert island now, I'd love to have my dad with me. Um, I think that'd be fucking amazing to have my dad back. Um, but other than that, like it, excusing the morbidity of things, if I was there for someone, you know, good company or someone like that, I think the lads from the UK vape show would be absolute number one. So you could have Megan Fox there, but you'd have Vic instead. You can shag Vic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think TVP answered that really well. I think he said Bear Grylls, and I think that makes oh, yeah. that makes total sense. But no, who uh, needs Bear Grylls when you've got you know some lovely oh. men? <laughs> uh, right, so you're still on the same island. Um, who would you not want to have with you again? Oh, anybody yeah, alive or dead? Um, I wouldn't like Storm Vera with me. Um, no one likes Storm Vera. Um, who else wouldn't I like? I don't know. I think it would just be Storm Vera. It's nicer without Storm Vera. <laughs> All right. Um, so in your time being a YouTube reviewer, what's the best mod you've ever reviewed? Oh, shit. Um, I don't know. Blimey, <laughs> I would say the Rinko Manto S. Um, you can. It, it's a question. The, the thing is, it, it's just a great all-rounder mod. <laughs> you, you've not got to worry about shit. You know, it, it, it's, it is. It's not brilliant. You know, you, you've got all your, your bloody high-end stuff and, you know, stab wood and all that, but that just does what it does. You haven't got to worry about it, and it's it's just good. Excellent. Well, yeah, I mean, that works. That works. It doesn't yeah. happen cost a bomb no um you're not being paid by Rinko, are you <laughs> not at all no um no 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 i haven't been paid 
One that's sent by uh, no, I haven't. No, not one <laughs> sent by Rinko. Uh, and what's the best tank you've ever reviewed? Um, oh, blimey. See the the Cleto and the Cleto XO were amazing, but I think it must it must have to be stock coil would be the Freemax Mesh Pro. A lot of people like that. Really, really like that. I thought it looked a bit funky with all the resin. Yeah, there, there was loads of different versions, weren't there? They had like the metal slash version and the resin, and I think they had a carbon fiber version and stuff like that. There was loads of different versions, but I think the the one that's kind of like you know like. All the drip tips nowadays that are like um like hexagonal mesh stuff yeah 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 um yeah kind of like this stuff oh yeah yeah see yeah. yeah the one like that i believe it was uh that i enjoyed the most and what's the worst mod you've ever reviewed oh the worst mod i've ever reviewed would be um i think it was v2 six they done this multi purpose like five in one jobby that was you know you could do e-liquid dry herb um wax and stuff like that it was terrible and i think it was like 200 quids worth of stuff Jeez. in this little i've still got it upstairs um but it's absolutely bloody terrible you know it's marketed as that you know the next best thing in vaping and you know i said i've got to give an honest review on this and they're like okay well you're not gonna like it you know, and this was back in my early days, and it is absolutely terrible. And they've contacted me again about reviews, and I'm like, no, I'm not reviewing for you. It's, you it's know, but so is it? No, no. Uh, so well, you know what I'm going with. That's what's the worst ever tank you've ever reviewed? Um, I don't know. The worst ever tank I've had is the um, the vaginal discharge edition of the Wasp Nano. The RDA, um, but other than, I think wor worst tanks I think would be something along the the smock line of things. You know, whatever come with a mag baby or whatever it was, it was terrible. Yeah, you're forgiven for not knowing the name of it because it's mm. probably one of about four thousand. Yeah, it's one of uh, the smock tanks. Uh, right. So this is one of my favourite parts. Um, obviously, being a Scotsman, we do have some patter, and we can ref we refer to people as a good guy, a wanker, or a prick. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to say a whole bunch of people's names, and just as quickly as you can, just tell me what you think of them. So you have to pick one of the three, good guy, wanker, or prick. Yay! All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Jeremy Corbyn. Oh, I think he's, uh, he's a wanker. Anthony Joshua. Say. He's the boxing heavyweight champion of the world. Oh, good guy. Uh, Conor McGregor. Good guy. Floyd Mayweather. Uh, good guy, I think. Theresa May. Oh, fucking wanker prick cunt. <laughs> Donald Trump. Uh, pr uh, whatever the worst is, prick. Gareth Southgate. Uh, good guy. Katie Price. Oh, prick. Vaping with Vic. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, Vic's a good guy. Uh, Kevin Spacey. Ke Ooh, blimey. Kevin Spacey. Uh, if you go back to Kevin Spacey back in the American History X, then he'd be a good guy. But now he's a bit of a bad guy, isn't he? He's, he's in a lot of trouble, isn't he? Yeah. Eddie Hearn. You probably won't know who that is. No. It's Anthony Joshua's promoter. That really annoying guy that constantly talks him up he's a prick uh, like yeah him. prick go on him uh vaping bogan good guy harry kane who <laughs> was harry he a footballer kane. he's a Engl the england striker oh prick uh mel gibson uh good guy uh vaping heathen good guy uh who else have i got steven gerrard oh, he's a footballer prick Jai Hayes. Good guy. Very good guy. And Liam Neeson. Oh, he's a fucking prick because all he does is release the same film over and over again. <laughs> everybody says that. Yeah. Like everybody says the same thing about him. It's, <laughs> it's just the same thing where he's got a different name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so 
if you could choose to be one of these people, which one would it be? Uh, James Bond, Jack Bauer, Tony Soprano, or John Wick? Oh, John Wick. Keanu Reeves is a sexy motherfucker, isn't he? Is that, is that the reason why? Yeah. Have you seen the latest movie? No. Um, I actually worked on one of their demo cars for the film. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the reason as well. Um, but, yeah, John Wick. John Wick. Um, I've heard the latest movie is absolute badass. I'm going to go and see it on Friday. Yeah. Uh, right, so if the vaping gods said that you could banish one thing from vaping, what would did you choose? So um, by the term of vaping gods, would that be Vic, Chris, and Mark, and myself? <laughs> <laughs> what was the question, sorry? Uh, if you could banish one thing from vaping and it never existed, what would it be? Uh, heat not burn. Heat not burn. Mm. Even okay. though it's not vaping, but it's kind of been interlinked, hasn't it? Yeah, it, it does kind of get in a like like. Mm. I think I would probably get rid of pods myself. They drive me nuts. Oh, the amount of pods I have. I think I've got about 10 I'm testing at the moment. <laughs> I've got quite a few. Mm. Have you seen the la the latest season of Game of Thrones? No. Oh, I, wa I, I watched the first season when it, I think, what was it on originally? Channel 4, wasn't it, back in the day? Oh, I don't know. Uh, or it might have been when I had Sky. Um, but yeah, I watched I think the first season and then after that I just didn't um I didn't really get into it. Yeah. Not bother with it. Nah. Oh well, I'll just skip past the next ten questions. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh right, we're gonna do your favourites now. Uh I like this bit as well. This is your favourite stuff, right? So oh. I'll just say something and you just tell me your favourite. Food. Uh pizza. Bevy. Uh, blimey. I do like a nice shandy. Sh shandy? Yeah. Uh, music? Um, rock, yeah, rock me music, metal music. Your favourite band? Blimey. Um, either Dana Sack and Scroobius Pip or Slipknot. What's your favourite song? Uh, Dead Memories, I think, by Slipknot would be one of my favourite. Your favourite steak? Um, I would say rump medium. Favorite chocolate bar? Oh, a good old dairy milk. Uh, your favorite chippy? What? What I would order from the chippy? Yeah. Uh, bad sausage and chips. Basic. Yeah. Nice, the perfect solution to a hangover. Mm. Uh, your favorite Chinese? Uh, chicken with cashew nuts in a yellow bean sauce, egg fried rice, uh, crispy seaweed, um, chicken, uh, chili salt chicken as well. Wow, that's pretty specific. You order yeah. that a lot. Yes. Excellent. I uh, wish you, you know, where I'm going next. What's your favorite Indian? Indian would be a chicken tikka masala. Uh, oh, 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 don't say chicken tikka masala to me. Blah. Uh, pilau rice, um, oh, onion bhajis. Seriously, I would stick my phallus inside an onion bhaji. I absolutely <laughs> love them. Um, and a cheese naan. A cheese naan? No, oh, that's not bad. I, I yeah. like the garlic naan with my uh, chicken korma. Oh, good idea. Uh, what's your favourite crisps? Salt and vinegar. Any particular type? Um, no, nah, you know, Walker's is all right, but any brand of salt and vinegar. Favourite movie? Oh, blimey. Um, it would have to be, and everyone's going to go, gay! Uh, Romeo and Juliet with Leonardo, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio in it. Jesus. Mm. Really? Mm. Uh, oh, sorry. That and uh, Moulin Rouge. What? Makes, what? Seriously, <laughs> uh, like, I, I love films. You know, I've got a... I love Hellraiser. Not really good ones, apparently. No, no, I love Hellraiser and all stuff like that, you know, like proper horror and gory films. But the one I always go back to and I can watch, yeah, cheers, Vic, where you're gay. Um, Romeo and Juliet, I absolutely love it. I love the story behind it, how the characters are portrayed and stuff like that. And uh, Moulin Rouge, I just love the music through it. I actually downloaded the album to Moulin Rouge and <laughs> listened to it whilst I was cutting grass and stuff like that. It used to be, you know, my, my little... Uh, Lovely album and stuff like that, yeah. <laughs> but it would be, it'd be, you know, Nicole Kidman and um, is it Nicole? It is Nicole Kidman, isn't it? 
Yeah, Nicole, you know? yeah, Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor singing, and then the next thing, Slipknot or or like Mudvayne and stuff like that would come on. It would be a complete mishmash of things. So I was going to say, I mean, obviously Mark and Chris um, both chose Titanic, which I thought was a little bit on the gay side. That, that's but, even um, gayer than Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on quickly then. Uh, your favourite TV show? Oh, bloody hell. I don't really watch much TV. No. Oh, we'll go for the one show, but only when Angela Scanlon is presenting it. The one show. The one show. <laughs> Maybe see one. <laughs> What's your favourite Rocky movie? Oh, fuck. I've never watched a Rocky movie. Oh, no, really? Mm. I'm too old for that. That's a, you're, you're too young for this show. Yeah. Uh, favourite Godfather movie? It's got to be the first one. Yeah. First one, absolutely. Um, we'll skip the next one because you don't watch football. What's your favourite pastime? <sighs> Sleep. Sleep. Um, your favourite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle? Raphael, I think it was, wasn't it? Who's your favourite Transformer? Oh, that would have to be Soundwave. Absolutely love Soundwave. Uh, and who's your favourite Son of Anarchy? Oh, bloody hell. You, who's the sexy dude that looks like me, that doesn't look like me? Who's the... Who's the I, I haven't watched Sons of Anarchy. No, I have watched Sons of Anarchy. I think I watched the first bloody program and then got bored of it. Um, who's the bloke with, like, the blondie beard? Him. Whoever he is. The star of the show? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Your favourite colour? Um, it would be Kawasaki Green. Wow, that's specific. Any mm. particular reason for that one? I just love how it looks. You know, it's not like a dark green or a light green. It's kind of like this green. Um, everyone knows. Uh, ri well, it's not Kaw It's Yeah, Kawasaki green, Rizzler green. You okay. know, the green Rizzler packets, yeah. yeah. Okay, what's your favourite swear word? Fuck. Favourite car? Um, favourite car of all time, bloody hell. Um, I've got quite a few, but... Oh, I think, you know, like a, a 106, a Peugeot 106 dimmer or something like that, or a Renault 5 GT Turbo, you know, like the old hot hatches. Um, yeah, proper old school. Or the, or the 6R4 um, Metro. All right, okay. And what's your favourite pizza topping? Um, pepperoni and barbecue base with stuffed crust. Ooh. Mm. Now, the next one's going to be tough for you because I have asked this to three of your friends and they all picked you. Therefore, you now need to pick one of them. So who is your favourite co-host? My favourite co-host? Um, I think Mark. Mark, Mark should, no no, uh, like disrespect or anything to Chris and Vic. Um, I absolutely love them to pieces. But me and Mark, you know, when, when we're sitting there and we can be sitting there, where's my control? And someone else is talking and we're going like shit changing our lights and stuff like that. You know, yeah. me, me and Mark click in in how how silly we are with each other. I'm uh, Sorry, what's your, Chris. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite thing about reviewing? Oh, the free shit, babe, the free shit. No, uh, <laughs> sorry, Vic. Uh, the favourite thing about reviewing, I think, is the the interaction you get with so many people from, you know, so many different walks of life and different countries and stuff. You, you, you're just meeting loads of people, loads of different people. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Um, so let's assume you're recommending some stuff to some maybe vapors that aren't so sure. What 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 would you say is your favourite dripper to recommend? Not your own personal, your favourite recommendation for a dripper. I think the I've got it here in front of me actually. The the Point Blank RDA by Asmodus. That's one of my favourites. I never yeah. enjoyed it with that chicken tikka masala, but it's still rocking and rolling. Mm. Uh, again, same kind of scenario. Mouth to lung tank. Um, blimey, I don't do stock coil tanks uh, in mouth to lung. Um, but I know the Jack, the Jack Vapor, they done a mouth to lung tank which was pretty good. I can't remember what it was called. I can't remember either, but it was S seventeen, wasn't it, or S twenty two? S twenty two. That's mm. exactly what it was. Yeah, the S twenty two. Um, if someone asked you the one to chuck clouds, what would you recommend? Uh, Freemax. What stock coal tank? 
anything at all. They just want to chuck clouds. Oh, blimey. If you want to stop uh, chuck clouds, the Mason 40, whatever it is, 41 millimeter dripper or 42 free max, uh, not free max Mason, whatever it is, the Mason dump tank thing. No, this is a dripper, massive. I'm sure it's 41 mil. I got, yeah, I know what one you're, uh, I know what one you're talking about. Mm. Um, starter kit, full starter kit. kit would be the Hexa, which I've got. Well, there's that part of it. Oh, there it is, the Hexa pod mod. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, I, I, I actually really enjoyed it. I, I've got one somewhere. Yeah, it's, uh, good. it's not bad. Not bad. They, they had some lovely beer at Expo, and I'm really trying to track down what it was. I think someone told me on YouTube, so I'm going to see if I can get it. But it's a Belgian beer, obviously Belgian. Oh, Belgian, yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Who's your favourite vaping manufacturer? Blimey. Um, I think... Asmodus, uh, no, I'd oh, it would be have to be Asmodus or Watofo. This one's for Chris. Uh, Empire Vape Co voted, what was it, the third best shop? Third best brick and mortar in the world, yeah. Third best brick and mortar in the world. He does his own juice line. What's your favorite of them all? Oh, blimey. Uh, Killer Custard, I'd say. Killer Custard, yeah, I did enjoy that. Chris, if you are listening, uh, do feel free to pop the link to your Killer Custard in the chat. Um, so, what's your favourite vaping accessory? Um, it would have to be the Coilmaster DIY kit. The Coilmaster DIY kit. Or the Coily. And who, the Coily, yeah, that's not bad. Mm. Not bad at all. And your favourite US reviewer? Um, I think Mike Vapes. I do like Mike Vapes. He's down to earth. Yeah. And your favourite UK reviewer? Favourite UK reviewer? Oh, blimey. Being uh, the fact that you're on my fucking show, it shouldn't really be that hard a question. Well, you know. <laughs> um, I think someone who I regularly watch, I always watch Vic, um, unless it's something that I'm reviewing. But he's kind of when I'm scrolling through, um, you know, my subscriptions and who's released a video, Vic's videos, unless I'm reviewing it at the time, um, would be the the first person I go to uh, for videos. Um, and then it, it would be Mark and Chris after that kind of thing. You know, I do I do like watching theirs first and then seeing everyone else's reviews and stuff like that. Uh, so we're just going to spin the wheel. So we're going to do your worst. Um, we'll just pick some of these at random. So what's your worst food? Worst food? Uh, anything that's green, salad. <laughs> uh, your w most hated sh uh, bevy? Um, blimey. Uh, water. <laughs> what's, what's the worst movie you've ever seen? Oh, shit. Worst movie I've ever seen. I don't know. Uh, blimey. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and the worst thing that can come on the telly? Um, friends. Really? Yeah. Come on. I can't stand American comedy. Worst thing you put on a pizza? Hey, uh, blimey. Um, salad. And the worst thing about reviewing? Um, hate us. Because they hate us because they ain't us. The trolls. Oh, no, the trolls. No, the trolls ain't too bad. Um, no, no, I think the, the worst thing about reviewing would be the, the people begging for stuff. Um, oh, you've got so much stuff. Why don't you send some to me? And it's like, I haven't got enough time to send stuff out to my Patreons and, you know, friends that are in need, let alone to people that have just, you know, subscribed to me or just followed me on Instagram or stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, guys, if you do want to check out the Devil Vapor, the link is in the comments. Um, there was a um, big vape around the award ceremony at Expo, uh, and they, was. The, the, they were doing the best YouTube reviewer in the world. And rumour has it you were entered into that. Is there, you want to tell us where you finished up? Yeah, I, I come somewhere near the top. You know, it was all a blur. It was all a massive blur. Um, but, you know, through all my big-headedness and the reasons why I shouldn't have been there and stuff like that, um, I come second. Second. I come that's second. Uh, so, and that's... 
guys, that's not the UK. That was Vaping Bogan, Mark, uh, Mike Vapes. Not they were all in that, weren't they? Yeah. Um, regardless of whether you know it was a sympathy vote or anything like that, I come second. So, which is absolutely phenomenal, and you should yeah. be really, really pleased with that. I'm very proud. Little shout out to my boy, little bro. Vapes. He was in the top ten as well. Yo, yo, yo. Little bro, love that dude. Um, he's probably the nicest guy in the world. Um, mm. But yeah, we had a great time at Expo. Expo was good. Guys, for those of you who don't know, Chris, uh, Dean and I actually met up for the first time at Expo. Um, we did. Gave, we gave each other a big cuddle, and then I asked you to come on the interrogation. So it was pretty blunt and sweet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to do some witches now. So, witch, I'll just say a couple of things. You tell me which one you prefer. Oh. So, Pepsi or Coke? Coke. Liverpool or Everton? Fucking neither. <laughs> Burger King or McDonald's? McDonald's. Cats or dogs? Cats. Oh, you probably won't know the next one. Uh, Geek Vape or Watofo? Watofo. Um, an RTA or an RDA? RDA. A mech or a regulated mod? Regulated. A Big Mac or a Whopper? Big Mac. Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. Jack Daniels or Jim Beam? Neither. Neither. Do you like your single malt? I don't like anything like that. No. Yeah, you wouldn't drink my whiskey at Expo, wouldn't you? No, I wouldn't drink anyone's whiskey, no. Uh, do you like beer or lager? Um, it depends what mood I'm in. Red wine or white wine? White wine. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Coffee. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, uh, guys, we are fast approaching the hour mark. So, if you do want to ask Dean a question, just pop it in the comment section in big bold capital letters in a couple of minutes, and I will get to it as soon as possible. So, Dean, if you could take the family anywhere in the world, expenses paid, where would you go? Um, I would go back to, oh, no, I would go to Iceland. Iceland? Why Iceland? Oh, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've only seen pictures, but I do want to go there. Um, you know, Northern Lights and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I just love how it looks. Okay. Uh, what's your rev opinion on taking money for reviews? Um, it depends on what it's for. Um, I have a queue bump. So if companies do want to pay money to get their product bumped up the queue, then, you know, I will charge them an amount, but it doesn't give them a, you, you know, they're not buying a uh, a positive review. I'll still be as honest as I've always been. Um, but if you're taking money to do a positive review, then get the fuck off of YouTube. Yeah, no, I totally agree with that. Mm. Um, so you are fast approaching 10,000 subscribers. Ooh, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, a blooming net snatch off of, um, off of 9K. Um, so, I mean, that's obviously pretty impressive. Uh, mm. do, do you have a number in your head? I think I've asked everybody this. Um, what, what, what's the number where you can sit back and say, I've been successful? 10K. So 10 is the magic number. But, well, the thing is, every subscriber up to now has been, you know, a benchmark. It's it's one more than I ever imagined. You know, it's it it's really good. Um, but I think when I think uh, when I hit ten k, I would I'll, I'll probably cry at ten k. Um, but it, that will be kind of like um, the the biggest achievement for me. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And I, I and I won't stop at ten k. I will carry the fuck on. Quite right. Quite mm. right. Um, being number two in the world, you're certainly going to hit 10k pretty soon. Hopefully. Um, are you planning on doing a little, a little party, a little celebration? Are you going to juggle fire? I will stick probably two fingers in my ass. <laughs> uh, so, what other channels do you watch on YouTube apart from vaping channels? What's your, what's your, what kills type? Uh, Goon Squad. Absolutely love Goon Squad. They do rebuilding cars um they like buy cars that have been wrecked in accidents and stuff like that and then they um and then they rebuild them and sometimes they sell them on or keep them and they're doing a lamborghini huracan at the moment which is fucking amazing yeah um, other than that i always get lost in youtube you know you you go into like the recommended videos 
and you start watching, you know, like people um, on a lathe with wood making stuff out of resin and stuff like that. It's it's weird. I just get lost in YouTube. Yeah, it's kind of like Netflix. I find when you go in and watch something on Netflix, you end up spending an hour and you haven't put, you haven't picked in yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you spend like too much choice, mm. um, and then you end up just going to bed and not actually watching anything. Yep. Uh, vaping has this fucking thing called vaping drama that everyone loves. Um, what's your, your, I don't really hear an awful lot of things about you. You seem to be quite light. What, what's your thoughts on vaping drama and how do you stay out of it? Uh, I, I'm rather blunt with the way I, I do drama. Uh, a bit, I don't know if you want to call it like backhanded or something like that. I'm, I'm just like quick one liner and then fuck off kind of thing um hence the storm vera earlier um yeah I, you know I, i'm not gonna act a innocent i i have been known for creating drama and and going along with drama and stuff like that um i think it just comes with the the scene kind of thing there's going to be drama no matter who's in the right who's in the wrong um but you've kind of got to be diplomatic and try not to pick sides on things. You, you know, you've got to kind of be on a level ground kind of thing. But um, yeah, drama's going to happen no matter where you are. You're always going to have people that hate you or you that you hate other people or whatever. Hate is a strong word, but dislike, you know. Right. Mm. What's the, the worst comment you've ever had or email you've ever had? You know, oh. I've had some right belters. Someone said, someone emailed me saying they were going to stab me at Expo, and they obviously, they obviously didn't. But you had some belters. Um, back in the day, back in the day, um, when me and TVP weren't on the the same hymn sheet, um, you know, there there was stuff from it, I don't know who it was from exactly, but from either him or his cronies or his ex cronies, sorry, um, the. You know, it, it actually made a bit of an impact on me, but in turn, that made me stronger. Yeah. You know, I, I kind of not brought up a resilience to it, but it, it got me used to, it made me grow a thicker skin. Yeah. And, you know, uh, with Mark, I've actually spoke to him and, you know, I, I've said to him, you know, it weren't nice back in the day, but it's, it's made me develop a thicker skin and to let things go over my head. And, you know, for that, I am kind of thankful. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's quite good because I mean, obviously, you mentioned Mark being your favourite person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you, you know, the things come and go. You know, M Mark's had a history. Me and Mark have had history. Mark and Vic have had history, and me and Mark now we, we can you know get pissed together and have shits and giggles. You know, he's an amazing bloke. Yeah. Mm. Um, right. So if you had to pick one or the other, you you can't pass. You have to actually answer one or the other. Yeah. What would you rather do? Um, swing with sharks. Or brush a tiger's teeth? So, oh, I can't swim, so it'd have to be um, brush a tiger's teeth. Crash a plane or sink a boat? Uh, crash a plane. Eat a jobby or drink someone's pee? Drink someone's pee. <laughs> run from a dinosaur or run from a lion? Run from a dinosaur. Give birth or get kicked in the bollocks? Uh, give birth. Fight. Mike Tyson or fight Money Mayweather? Tyson. Go to jail for a week or sit and watch an episode of Love Island? Ah, uh, watch an episode of Love Island. <laughs> watch Coronation Street or watch EastEnders? Oh, EastEnders. I love taking the piss out of EastEnders. <laughs> Go hunting for deer or shoot a little rabbit? Oh, blimey. Oh, they're both so cute. <laughs> um... <laughs> Rabbit, because they they multiply like anything. I think we are do as well, do they not? I'm not mm. sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, so Devil Vapor, you've got hats, you've got t-shirts. I seen you signing some cheap t-shirts at Expo, which was pretty cool. Yeah, t-shirts, um, yeah. You've got hoodies, you've got everything. Are we going to see a Devil's RDA or a Reaper mod, perhaps? I would like to do a stock core tank. Oh yeah, with cool. someone. Um, I think it would be someone like Horizon Tech um, or EH Pro or Tofo. I'd like to go with. And have you designed it? Is it no? Is it, no, is it just no? I'll just go get the Kelpie, 
put a stock coil in it and make it good. Change that the shitty top cap, <laughs> and then put my name on it. And bigger screws. Bigger screws. <laughs> Uh, right, so if you could or had to with anybody famous, um, <clears throat> anyone famous you would want to be? Um, oh, what's his name? Tom Hardy. Is that, that was Bane, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, anyone famous you'd like to go out for a drink with? Tom Hardy. <laughs> uh, you'd invite to Christmas? Um, blimey. Uh, invite to Christmas. I'd have to invite a female to Christmas. I'd have to be the lovely Angela Scanlon. Anyone you'd love to give a good slap? Uh, Katie Price. <clears throat> Anyone you'd like to snog? Angela Scanlon. <laughs> um, do you have a uh, five names on a list that your partner can't get mad? What's it called? A whole pass? What's that? Oh, it's like uh, you you not watching Friends, you might not know this, but uh, you get uh, you get five names and you write them down, and, and if you if you get the opportunity to spend the night with them, your partner can't get angry. So usually it's oh, like exes or anything like that. No, not exes. It's usually things like Angelina Jolie and and oh, right. you know girls that you're never in a million years going to get. But nah, she can watch. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So what what was the first computer you ever had as a kid? <clears throat> Uh, console wise, it would have been the NES Nintendo oh, Entertainment Nintendo. System, yeah. Um, and what did you want to be when you were when you were growing up? Did you want to have be someone a chef? A chef. Mm. So you like do you like cooking then? Not anymore. I used to love it when I was younger. Absolutely love it when I was younger. But um, after my GCSEs, nah, I just didn't know what I wanted to do. Did you, Did you give it a go? Did you get like a job in a kitchen or no? Nah. No, just no, gave I just gave up. Yeah. And um, what was your favourite cartoon as a kid? Um, possibly it would definitely Transformers or Dexter's Lab. And your favourite superhero? Oh blimey! Um, oh, what who was that? Banana Man. I remember Banana Man. Yeah, Banana Man. I never did make a movie with it. It was the one, no. the one they never ever did. I mm. uh, what's your favourite childhood memory? Oh blimey! Um, I think it was when I got my first bike. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I think we all remember our first bike. Mm. I had a chopper. Oh, no, I had this. It was it was actually a Rizla green and silver um, mountain bike. Um yeah, the the choppers were re-released, I think. Mm. They, they got big again, I'm not sure. Yeah, that is they've kind of got a cult following, haven't they? Yeah, I think so. I think so. All uh, right, so this is a brand new section I designed this morning just for you while well, I was supposed to be doing some work. Yeah. Um, so this is a who would win in a House of Horrors mud wrestling match? Mm. Whatever the hell that is, right? Yeah. The Rock versus Vin Diesel. Oh, Vin Diesel, he's a babe, isn't he? Love Vin Diesel. You may not know these two. Steven Gerrard or Neil Lennon? I only know Steven Gerrard, so I'd have to say him. Right, you, you definitely know these ones, right? So, TVP versus Jay Hayes. Jay would win. Todd versus Baker. Oh, fuck, Todd. Vape Don't Smoke versus Vaping with Vic. <laughs> You're bigger than Vic, so you. Yeah. Uh, Devil Vapor versus Empire Vape Co. I think Chris would win. <laughs> Don't forget, I think I forgot about you, Aiden. So Little Bro Vapes versus Vaping Vic. As in V1CK? V1CK, yeah. Uh, Little Bro. <laughs> uh, some of these some of these questions make me giggle. Um, who who who's the most? I know in the UK VS, you guys um, get a lot of new guys on. I think was that was that was the kind of. I don't know if you still do that, but that was the kind of starting point. You got yeah, yeah. less than was it less than a thousand subs? Yeah. Who, who would you say is the most up and coming reviewer? Oh blimey, uh, we've had a few on. Um, 
I really do like GBV. Um, he's a sound lad. Solo as well. Little bro. Fucking hell. There, there's so many nice people that we've had on. Um, some people have stuck by it. Some people haven't. Um, but yeah, I think little bro. Solo as well. Solo's in a in a bit of a very niche market with his mech stuff. But you know, he's someone I'd recommend. Um, recommend to to send mechs too um as chris said put puffs and um flat cap as well they're they're great lads absolutely guys i'm coming to the end of my questions if you want to ask dean a question do pop it in chat big capital letter so that i can see it and we will get to it in a few minutes um so if you were to you're driving along the road and you hear a thump and you feel that you've just hit something with your car mm. When you get out of the car, what is it you most want to see? A cat, a dog, a deer, or a cyclist? <laughs> a cyclist. Get off the fucking road. <laughs> yeah. It's one of those ones when you, you go, oh, shit, I just hit something. What was yeah. it? Can I walk around? Oh, oh, it's just a cyclist. I'll carry on driving. Just a cyclist. Yeah. He's a ball bag for being in the road in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you had a thousand pounds cash and drop onto your lap, what would you buy? Oh my God, what would I buy? A uh, new bathroom or, or put towards a new bathroom. Oh, you need a lot more than a thousand pounds. Yeah. Think. yeah. <laughs> so, anything at all in the world you can buy for yourself, you're going to buy a new bathroom. Yeah. Um, okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> what's the uh who do you think in vaping the the kind of company that's been the most contributed the most to the vaping industry uh blimey i don't know i think i would say someone like Watofo because they're they're working a lot with reviewers and reviewers are the um, I think they're kind of like the forefront for ideas and where would so do, do work with a lot of reviewers um, you know they're bringing ideas from people that know their shit to everyone else and it's just constantly progressing so I'd have to say what's so what's awful mm. um, I quite like ketchup on a banana sandwich uh, and I've been told that that's weird yeah what's your weirdest food combination that you actually enjoy but would never tell anybody Oh, I would, um, I would say I, I like a peanut butter sandwich with, with no butter, um, obviously just peanut butter and then, uh, some vinegar crisps inside and fold it over. <laughs> now that's weird. Mm. <laughs> that is weird. Um, what did you think? <laughs> Here we go. What, what did you think of the iJoy video? Oh, the Coke in a tank. <laughs> Um, hold on hold on that's i joy um yeah shit happens um it was a bad move from i joy very bad move but they did apologize but it still did get done kind of thing it still happened so they have apologized yeah um i never knew that uh but yeah I, do you do you know what they were trying to what the point of it was? Were they trying to tell you to vape your coke? I think for me, it was possibly, it come across to me as like tongue-in-cheek humour, but I'm not sure if that translated very well. Um, oh, yeah, it was serious though. There wasn't any, you know, smiley faces or anything floating around. It was, it seemed to be, oh, do this idea, you know, th this will be good. But it was a very bad idea. Very, very bad idea. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, I did actually. I did actually quite enjoy Chris's video. Right enough, he was quite funny. Yeah. Um, he's toned down a lot because I, I feel like six months ago he would have probably been a lot. Yeah, I think I think Chris would have done like a high on like what Vic did. <laughs> to enjoy. Uh, so, what would you rather? Um, hit ten thousand subscribers, get twenty thousand views in your next video, or get an email from a person saying that you helped them. Oh, email to say um, I've helped him. It's quite good, isn't it? It's, it's a nice. Mm. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, you have you have any stories from someone that maybe at Expo told you they helped or anything at all you want to share? 
Um, one thing for me um, would be a lovely gentleman. I won't say his name, but he um, he customizes mods, and um, he like sands them down, strips them down, um, puts a lovely mirror finish on them, lacquers them over, and um, he spoke to Dovepo. And Dovepo saw the work that he'd done, and the people from Dovepo said, "We want a certain amount of mods, you know, made, um, you know." And th and this bloke, um, you know, he he's had his up and downs, but um, yeah, the the mods that he they've ordered and whatnot is is going to help him out quite a bit, I hope. Um, and he came up to me and said, "Thank you," you know. I'm I had like tears in my eyes, kind of thing. He had a bit of tears in his eyes. It was it was amazing. It was lovely. But you know, when you do get the people come up and and say, you know, you've literally saved my life yeah. um, a year ago or whatever I was smoking. But if it weren't for your reviews uh, or finding your reviews or your help and advice getting me off the cigarettes, um, you know, I might not be here right now. You know, I'd I'd be smoking or whatever. I'd be inside an iron not an iron lung, but on a respirator and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, I always find it's the time. Just see, just the time to type up an email. It's just yeah, what they say. It's like see, sometimes I get emails and it's like people giving me dogs abuse. See the fact that they've took the time to do it. I actually quite enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. You know that person. I, I get some really long emails, and some of them are short. You know, it, it is just thank you for what you do or whatever and stuff like that. But but when you get you know like an absolute essay from the, the day they or well, before they quit what their health was like and and stuff like that and then when they quit and how they're feeling now compared to how they were before um stuff like that's just it's mind-blowing absolutely mind-blowing so what's the most expensive mod you've got um blimey um i would possibly have to say it would have to be one of my um What's it called? Stab wood ones from Ultrona and a, and as Modus, but I have got the Kangatech K1 box, which is rare as rocking or shit. Um, I think I've got one of very few, maybe two or three in the UK, um, which was a DNA 50 powered, I think it was, or DNA 75 powered stab wood uh, Kanga thingy. I ne it never saw the light of day. Um, they never released it. How did you get one? Um, I used to work very closely with vape distribution. Right. Um, and one of their lads gave it to me as a review sample, and it never come out for review. I'd done like a, an unboxing and first opinions cool. um, of it, but i never done a full review because Kangatech never released it. Excellent. Um, you said you were a big fan of Xbox. What's your favorite game? Uh, Battlefield One. Battlefield One. Mm. An old game, then you not tried any of the newer ones. I've got Battlefield Five. Um, is Battlefield Five the most recent one? Uh, I think so. I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty yeah. Sure. Ba yeah. Battlefield. Yeah. Battlefield Five and um, Hor Horizon Tech. Um, Forza <laughs> Horizon are the most recent ones I got. Oh, Forza is good. I mean, the yeah. graphics in that are insane. Absolutely amazing. Control the damn car, though. You go too fast and you're all over the place. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a decent driving game. Uh, so in terms of YouTube, do you ever see yourself doing anything else? Maybe doing some game channels or beer or, or, or vlogging? Uh, you know, anything, like a second channel, call it the Vaping Devil? No. Um, I was thinking about doing beer stuff when I was doing the Beer 52 subscription package but then i found that i was drinking a bit too much um <laughs> and you know I, i'm not a massive drinker as it is I, I do when i go out and get go on the lash i you know i get wrecked but um but i think no i i, I realized i was drinking a bit too much and it was affecting my life and my personal life and my health so i, I cancelled the su subscription and you know slowed down on my drink I had I had that as well. Um, the, that was really good value for money. Um, I think I reviewed it on my channel actually. I have to try to try to do different things, but yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Dean, it's been an absolute pleasure. That was all my questions. So thank Ooh. you very much. We are going to go to chat now. This is where it gets really fucking hard. Yeah, I've seen some of them. They've been distracting. 
<laughs> uh, so we're just going to go to the basically from another I said questions, please. Um, let's see. Jason Carathers is asking, Dean, I can't refill my Kelpie. How do I unscrew the cap? Um, I'm not sure. Um, I really don't know how to undo the Kelpie at all. It's just one of life's mysteries. <laughs> Uh, Gailey Bops, uh, thank you very much for watching. She's asking if you could award an Oscar to anyone, who would it be? Uh, it would have to be, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> uh, so vaping a lot for being the best champ ever. <laughs> Moving on, <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm not sure how to say it. Is it Cyclic Scooby Flyer? Oh, think, Cyclic, yeah. Does Dean know who slash what superseded is? Not sure what that means. Superseded? Yeah. I mean, superseded is the thing that comes afterwards. I'm not really sure the point of that question. Let's move on from that. Uh, Pud Puffs. Hello, Pud Puffs. Good to see you. Do uh, you know if you could press the delete button on any vape company, who would it be? Uh, blimey, blimey. Um, shit. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, vape company. I'd press delete on. Who made that herb thing that you got? Oh yeah, V two. V two. Yeah, with the with them. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Go on. Mm. Like, what's he saying? Thanos. Yeah. Th oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, Webley Web family vlogs. Are you the devil biker's son? I am the vaping biker's son, yes. <laughs> I never knew that's what they meant there. That's no. my bad for reading that out. Uh, I'm not reading that out, unicorn soul, you dick. Um, <laughs> you, UK vape star, if you could put your name to a product that's already released, which would it be? The. Do, 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 the Horizon Tech Falcon. Very good. You've mentioned that quite a few times in this this uh, video. So, guys, if you are looking for a good sub home tank that's stock coil, it might be one to check out. Yep. Uh, let's see. Nita Newby, what kind of fitness have you used as an excuse to skip off work? I haven't skipped work in however many years I've been, been working. I've never bunked a day off work. Pretty impressive. I'm a good boy. Uh, Biscuit Vapes is asking serious question. He's actually put in, so he obviously wants me to ask it. Yep. Do you actually enjoy a cheeky bum wank, or is it just a long running joke? I actually enjoy a cheeky bum wank. <laughs> that brings me to another question. I mean, he asked you. I never wrote it down. What, what's with the poems? Where did that start when you're UK VS? I don't know. I used to do the sponsors, and um, yeah, the sponsors the the. The sponsors rooted from uh, from UK Vapester. Um, it it was before it was like a little dig at him because he goes, "Oh, thanks to the sponsors of this video," um, and I thought, right, let, let's do a bit of a play on this and just like, oh, I'm sponsored by this, that, and the other. You know, I thought it was a, a it was kind of like a light hearted dig. Um, Rob, Rob's a lovely guy, by the way, um, but no, no, he is generally a uh, genuinely a nice guy. Um, but I thought that'd be funny. But I, I can't remember how the poems come about. I really don't. They are very good. I mean, Thank the, you. some of them are really. Uh, to be honest, I watch it for the poem and then I just turn it off. And yeah, that's it. that's all you should do, really. When the other guys start talking, yeah, um, it's just boring. Boring. Yeah, so just just talk. I put EastEnders back on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Flat Cat Vapor is asking if you could put a description of yourself on a dating site. What would it say? Um, medium build, handsome, bearded male, seeks female with <clears throat> slender fingers. <laughs> uh, Vapor Scotsman's asking, they, they all seem to be really interested in your, your sexual activities, but yeah. he's, do you enjoy a cheeky bum wank every day or every other day? Um, every other day, as as and when it comes, it's a blessing whenever it comes. BLT Vampire says, Do you know why don't you have a star screen represented in your Transformers collection? Um, I'm kind of 
in my um, Transformers, I'm kind of like the extremes from the good and the evil. So it's kind of like Optimus Prime and Megatron are kind of like the extreme ends of the spectrum. Yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, that's that's why. Even though I have a few things in between. Um, Starscream was a bit of a pussy hole as well. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Yeah. Uh, Stuart, Stuart's a bit fine, Stuart. Welcome to the, uh, thanks for watching and welcome to the chat. You, Stuart's actually responsible for the chicken tikka masala. You like with the eye and Aiden. Ah. Good, he's... Uh, the one that sent it out. Uh, he's asking, out of the UK VS casters that won an award at Expo, who would you most want not to have won and why? Really? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not the worst question. Well, I mean, to be fair, if Vic never won, you might have won number one. It, yeah, if Vic didn't win, I'd be number one. But um, I'd, ha I'd have to go, honestly, for Vinny. Um, he he hasn't put for from my point of view he hasn't put out as much stuff as other reviewers have across the whole world i'm not just saying oh chris or mark should have won um but i don't think he's contributed as much as other people have uh, regardless of you know me and him you know our friendship or whatever of how we how we feel feel about each other I, I just don't feel he's contributed as much as other people that could have won you know there, there's little bro and and other people like that that um i believe were more deserving for that award and have put more effort into the community and uh, and the vape scene kind of thing than he has what 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 did he win uh vinnie come third didn't he in the uh best reviewer thingy I wasn't even in the top 10. Oh. I wasn't even invited to the dinner. No, we were. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable mm. vape around. Um, yeah, I voted for Little Bro, I'm not going to lie. Uh, he's he's my boy. Mm. Yeah, he's a nice lad. Uh, Dean, who's the new hashtag afterthought? That's from Joy Dryson. There will never be a new afterthought. I'm still the afterthought regardless. Uh, Cyclone Scooby Flyer saying, Dean, have you forgotten me? Have I forgotten her? Yeah. I haven't forgotten her at all. That's a weird, a weird one. Oh, uh, she said, have you forgiven me? Oh, <laughs> oh it's, uh, it's getting late. I've had a beer. No, it's uh, all right. I, I do apologize. Have you forgiven me? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Is there yeah. a story there you want to tell us? Um, she she buggered off to TVP's group. She used to be a regular poster in mine. Um, it was always nice to chat to Cyclic. Um, and then I'm like, fuck, she hasn't posted in a while. And then I go over to TVP's group, and I'm like, she's posting in TVP's group. Traitor, you know. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no, I was a bit uh, cold shouldered towards her, but no, um, absolutely love Psychic Scooby Fly, lovely one. Funko Pop Geek is asking Dino Evo or Subaru? Oh come on, Zan. That's that's Zan Ross. Um oh, you, you can't beat the sound of a Subaru. Uh Unicorn's Hole ask Monster Truck or Supercar? Um Monster Truck. Joey Dryson, if you could win, sorry, if you could have a lifetime supply of anything, what would it be? Um, Mackie D's chips. Oh, you did not really fat though. Yeah. Oh well. Toilet paper is what I would pick. Oh, to yeah, toilet paper is good. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's not that cheap stuff that hurts your bum. Hmm. Yeah. Um, especially when you have to put it in the freezer after a hot curry. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Jules, my vapes. Hi, how's it going, Jules? Hi, Jules. Uh, she's asking if you could go back in time and change one thing. What would it be? That's a cool question. I would change absolutely nothing. Really? Absolutely nothing. Um, you wouldn't punch Hitler in the face? No. No, as I've said with loads of things about going back in time and changing things or changing things in your life, I believe that everything happens for a reason. Um, if things didn't happen, then I wouldn't be in the position I'm in today and I'm happy where I am today. 
Excellent. Jason mm. Carathers is asking, do you know what do you consider to be the best innovation in vaping? The best innovation in vaping would be this. Pod. The, the Innovap. Or the nicotine thing. Yeah. Best innovation in vaping. Hands down. Excellent. Um, AT. Thick skin or aggressive? A thin borderline separates both states. Don't you think, Paul, that many reviewers crossed that line? Um, I think that's kind of a question to you, isn't it? But um, yeah, he's missing the point. Oh though. my god, Bingham's in chat. Sorry, this is my mate Bingham's in chat. Dave Bingham. Um, yeah, thick, um, I think you've got to get thick screen. Uh, thick screen, thick skin. Um, you have really got to be thick skinned if you're in the public eye. Um, yeah. let things go over your head, stuff like that. Absolutely. I mean, if you, yeah, I mean, I, I say that if you're not, you're going to struggle. Yeah, if you're going to piss and moan every time someone calls you a cunt or says, I fucked your mum or whatever, um, you're not going to get very far. Yeah. So they call me fat. And I say, yeah, your mum keeps making me food when I've bumped her. Aha! <laughs> after, after sex dinner. Uh, <laughs> uh, why are you called Sleepy Dean, Dave Bingham? <laughs> I'm called. Sleepy Dean, because um, I used to fall when I used to. Well, still, when I get drunk, I fall asleep. Oh, and I used to fall asleep in the pub. And then we went on the stag do in Newcastle, and there was a place called. Oh, what was it called? Cheery Joe's or something. It was called Smoky Joe's. I think it might have been called a karaoke bar, and we were calling it, calling it Sleepy Dean's. <laughs> we went there. Yeah, no, that was a good weekend. Yeah, I, I fall asleep. I'm always tired. That was a good weekend. What was the? What's your famous? Yeah, your favourite holiday? You ever been away somewhere you'd love to go back to? Um, I'd love to go back to Italy. Um, I went there last year. Absolutely beautiful place, Italy. Very, very hot. It was. Um, yeah, it was a lovely, lovely. Uh, I think six days. Beautiful. Excellent. UK Vapes still asking, do you secretly love me? Yes, Rob, I do. <laughs> right, guys, we'll never run out of time. Only a couple of minutes left. If you do have a question, please do pop it in the chat. Come on, uh, there's two good ones there. Cozy Joe's, that's what it was called. Cozy Joe's was the name of that karaoke bar. All right, okay. okay. Yeah. Um, Fringe is asking, if you could be a champ at anything, what would you want to be champ of? Um, I'm not sure if I could be the champ at anything because words don't beat the champ. <laughs> what are you guys like, honestly? He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a mudder. He's a mudder. Yeah. Uh, I think I've got everybody. Have I, have I missed out any, guys? If you've got any more questions, we are fastly running out of time. There, there's one from Toril. Oh, I'm going to answer that anyway. Yeah, we, we do oh. Toral Holman, why are live panel shows so often full of derogatory comments towards women? Um, if I have been derogatory towards a woman, have I ever been? I'm not quite sure. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't go around calling women bitches and hoes um, or anything like that. If you consider cunt a derogatory comment towards women, then it's not. It's a generic swear word. Um, other than that, no. I, I don't believe I've witnessed um, many derogatory comments towards women. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, have you heard Slipknot's new songs, Avery mm. Skater? Yes. Um, I'm really not a fan of their latest video with Corey's new mask. Um, not at all. Uh, Joey Dryson's asking, since you've been to Netherlands, what's your favourite thing about it? Um, how clean it is. It is so clean. I went to Breda and uh, I went. I did go to, what's it called? Amsterdam. I didn't really like Amsterdam. Um, but no, um, I think Breda, Breda was an absolutely beautiful place. And we. it was my sister-in-law's wedding. So um, we had the, they had their wedding on a beach between the Den Haag and the Spit of Holland. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful uh, evening that was. 
Excellent. Mm. Uh, Marcus Blagden says, do you think you could take the title of, from Vic of Reviewer of the Year? No. Not at all. Unless he unless he steps out of the awards, then no chance. And Jules Ma of Apes, the background, another one, if you could speak any, any language, what would it be? Um, Chinese. Uh, Mandarin. Okay. Any reason why that? No. No, just because just it's cool. Mm. Uh, your wife gives you an ultimatum. No more cheeky bum wanks or no more reviewing. What do you choose? Ah. Mark, you. Uh, no more cheeky bum wanks because I can do them myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hip Hop Juice, hi all, Dino, cars are vaping? Uh, vaping. Louisa Taylor says she's in the Dean fan club. That is Bingham's missus, David Bingham's missus. Big love to them. Uh, this is the last question, guys. We are kind of going over time. Uh, in fact, it's not even a question. Uh, vaping Scotsman said, I've never heard of any live fae, any caster on the show. Not really sure what he's meaning there. Um... That the woman. Is that one of you northern um, northern dialects kind of thing? I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. No. Um, Cyclist Scooby's trying to flog you some lights. <laughs> uh, would you like some addressable LEDs for your shelves? I could do two meters for seventy five pounds. Fuck, you know, I don't know. We'll have to chat. Slide into my DMs. Uh, and the last question, guys, uh, it comes from RKBB. Are you looking forward to Thursday's Ryder Cup show and are you dressing up for it? Uh, I'm really looking forward to Thursday. Yes, yes, I am. Um, Is that I don't the know golf? I... Sorry? Is that the golf? I presume. Well, no. Oh. I thought right. he was talking about the UK versus um, UK Vape Show versus Vape Team. Is that what you're doing on Thursday? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. If he's talking about that, then yes, I'm I'm looking forward to it. If he's talking about golf, I, d I don't care for golf. I, I'm assuming that's what he's talking about then. I just yeah. like Ryder Cup is a golf tournament. Um, but yeah, so what are you doing? Tell us a lot about, about that quickly. Uh, on Thursday, it is the UK Vape Show versus the Vape Team. Um, we've got two hours of absolute bloody madness going on, hopefully. Um, I believe that some people are dressing up from either side. There may be more people on the uh, the vape team side. I'm not quite sure, but we'll have to see on Thursday, half past eight on Vaping with Vic's channel. Tune in. Shameless plug. <laughs> Shameless plug. Listen, Dean, it's been an absolute pleasure, my man. Thank you very much for coming on. Lovely. Um, guys, the Devil Vapor voted number two best reviewer in the world. Uh, and you can check him out in the link in the, the description. Uh, massive thanks to everybody in chat. Massive thanks to everybody that asked questions. Mm. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks to everybody. Thanks to Dean. Thank you very uh, much for having me. Uh, my absolute pleasure. Absolute mm. pleasure. You want to say goodbye? Yeah, thanks to everyone in the chat for your questions, for your support and all that. It's been absolutely amazing. I have been like flicking my eyes over um, every so often, but it has been quite distracting from your questions. It's a little bit different. Um, but yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. It's been a bit of an eye, eye opener. Um, yeah, it's been amazing. Absolutely Great. amazing. Would you come on again? I would definitely come on again, yes. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank Guys, you. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Stay safe. And whatever you do, vape don't smoke. Vape safe, vape on. <laughs>